it has the longest history. Uh, in our first lecture, Dr. Vivek Gore has already mentioned the many publications that it was being used in 1916 and 70s, and there are longest long-term histories and long-term publications are also available regarding this design, the biocortical screw. It has almost no limitation. We can use it in almost each and every cases who is requiring rehabilitation, or we can say it implant rehabilitation, because it has the distinct advantage of being a single piece as well as the polish surface. So we can use it in almost 99.99% .99 of cases. Only contraindication is patient has osteoporosis and has taken uh, IVB phosphonate. In those cases, we are not able to engage properly. So that is the only contraindication. Otherwise, we can treat all patients who are coming into our uh, clinics and requiring uh, implant rehabilitation. It has superior advantages. That is all about metallurgy and uh, design and specifications that I'm not going to discuss. It has no IT surface as poly surface. I'm going to show in my presentation that how wonderfully tissue respond to this unique design. Now, uniqueness of bicortical screw is the fresh extraction site is no barrier. We can always use bicortical screw in a fresh extraction site. Yes, in case of severe periodontal or periapical infection, we need to do some aseptic measures. We have to do curettage and irrigation, everything. But we can always use into fresh extraction site, this BCS. Yes, it eradicates all bone grafts and augmentation procedure because it does not require any grafting for the placement of it or the anchorage of it because it uses always a native bone. Whatever bone is available is best for the bicortical screw. We need not to play any kind of uh, with the native bone. We can always use the bone, uh, patient present with the bone in the east jaws. As a single piece, it avoids flap operations, so it's easy for the patients. Yes, of course, it's a choice of implant in atrophic jaw bone, almost every atrophy uh, many experienced doctors have treated severe atrophic jaw mandible maxilla with the, with the only bicortical screw. One more thing, if this implant failed, it does not cause infection or bone loss. That is the biggest advantage so that the bone is present as it is. There are, cause, there are causes and reasons for the failure that I'm not going to narrate. That is our next lecture is there in the... Uh, Dr. Vivek sir is going to take about the prevention and complication and uh, management of failures. Yes, immediate loading is mandate, mandatory with the bicortical screw. That is a different thing that every case we are treating with the bicortical screw has to be loaded immediately. That, that's the protocol. Plus the correction always possible in simplest manner. When, when sometimes beginner, even I have done it, or many doctors who are experienced, they also face the situation when the protocol is not followed or missed, or we are doing mistake uh, into the, uh, during the procedure. If it at all require correction, it's always possible with the bicortical screw. That is the, I think, the only design in the world that allows the correction to do. Now in this presentation, I'm going to show you before the guidelines, how to place it properly into the cortical bone. I'll show you the, how the tissue responses with the bicortical screw, whether it is a soft tissue or hard tissue. I am also going to tell about the osseofixation or osseointegration in case of bicortical screw. It has the, as yes, of course, it has the unlimited possibilities in treating the jaws or the patients requiring implant rehabilitation. Yes, of course, it has a strict placement protocol that we are going to learn in the upcoming slides. Now in these slides, we can see on the uh, left side, you can see how thin the maxilla is in case anterior maxilla. In that case, if we are going, if we have to do implant, we need so many bone augmentation or risk uh, or any, many things we require to do before placing an implant. Whereas with the BCA, 